These cables are not going to fit into this connector. So yellow and then green. All right, now the moment of truth. Let's go one, two, three. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. This is the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. It's an arcade stick with a retro console built in so you just plug it into your TV and you can play games without plugging this into a separate console. But one of the coolest things about it is you can also use it as your main arcade stick. Now the stock parts that come in the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro are actually not too bad. They actually function just fine. I'm still using the buttons that came with this. So it's not like there's super cheap parts and you're gonna have to swap them out immediately. But it would be quite nice to see what it feels like to use this as a main arcade stick. And if I'm going to do that, I'm probably gonna want to use the same stick and the same buttons that I use in other sticks. So today what we're going to work on is this stick here. Now I've actually already swapped this out. This is a Sanwa JLF arcade stick and it just feels like it's got a little bit more tension. It's just the stick that I'm more used to. So anyway, I'm going to try and show you how to put the Sanwa arcade stick in here. So in the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, usually it actually comes with this stick instead. It's not a Sanwa lever, but it's not that bad actually. And you can hear, it sounds, it sounds fine actually. But if you're interested in swapping it out for a Sanwa lever, I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So I've got a Sanwa plug here and you can see that the connector on the Sanwa plug is quite a bit bigger than the one that comes on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Essentially what you're going to need is this Sanwa JLF cable, which has five wires and a connector that actually plugs into a Sanwa JLF lever. And on the other side, it actually has no, nothing at all. So you can use whatever connector you want. And the, what I've gone and bought is the small connector that I'm going to need to go into the PCB on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Now you're going to need a few tools in order to create this new plug that we're making. So I just went to a shop called uh, Sengoku. It's in Akihabara, they sell stuff like this. These metal ends are about like 10 cents each and these white things here, these white connectors are about, I don't know, like 20 or 30 cents each. They're really, really cheap. And this is the end that's going to go into the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro PCB. And to create such a wire, I'm going to be using this. It's crimping, they're called crimping pliers and I'm actually not very good at this. I've actually used a cheaper set of crimping pliers and I managed to completely screw it up when I was doing the Quanba drone mod. But in any case, you need to know what it actually looks like on the inside of the stick. So let's turn it over and you can see that you're going to need to take out these screws here to pull the base off. So normally you would take all the screws out, but I've only got two in because I was playing around with this earlier. So let's just put the screwdriver in and grab these screws out. Now it so happens that the screwdriver I'm using has a magnetic end. These screws actually magnetize to the tip of the screwdriver. That's very convenient. I think the other one is actually hidden in here. Yes, it is. It's right there. So I'm just going to take this screw as well. All right, so I've taken that screw out as well. So taking the base off the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, and you can see this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the base of the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. It's just a piece of metal. I think that's maybe just to make it a bit heavier so it doesn't slide around too much. Now, before I take this out and show you exactly how it goes in, I just want you to have a quick look at this. The Sanwa fits in perfectly fine over here. It's the, the issue was this, I didn't have the right connector, so I just like jammed the cables in. Funnily enough, it's been working for the past week or so. Anyway, I'll just pull these cables out and it actually, you can see, I literally just jammed them in. The only reason I put plastic tape on them was so that the white, the metal cables don't touch each other. All right, so just taking the Sanwa JLF out. So the original stick that comes with the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro fits perfectly in this little square shape here. And it's actually, strangely enough, got one, two, three, four holes, which are not screwed into anything. And the only reason I can imagine that they're there is to conveniently allow you to put other sticks in because look at the base plate for this. Those four screw holes here are perfect for this Sanwa JLF. So it's almost like they want you to do this mod. Though I must say, you really don't have to. The stick works absolutely fine. This is for people who specifically want the feel of the Sanwa JLF. So when you first get the stick, it looks like this and you've actually got the cables going into this white connector and then the white connector goes into the PCB like so. So the first thing you wanna do is pull that out of the PCB and then undo these four screws here. Now, if you've never taken an arcade stick out before, you'll find that the ball top gets stuck. So in order to unscrew this ball top out so that you can take the stick out, you need to hold this screw in place here. So you just put a screwdriver in there and then twist the ball top off on the other side. Once this is out, now we need to fashion our new cable. Just pull that out of the bag. Just to show you, once we plug the Sanwa JLF in, this is what's gonna go onto the stick like this. It's gonna plug on 
like so. It's the other end we're concerned about. So what we need to do before we put the white connector on is we need to put the wire, the metal ends on these wires. Now I've never done it successfully before, but these are the wire ends. I'll give you a nice close up view of that. Let's just take one out. Might be a little bit difficult to see, but the wire end will go in like this and then we'll close the clamps around it so it doesn't fall out. So to do so, I'm going to need my next assistant, which is the crimping pliers. You can get these for like $10, but the one I bought was like $45 because apparently it's gonna make my life a little bit easier. But then again, I might've just got conned. Maybe it doesn't make much difference. Here we go. Engineer precision connector crimping parts. So on this tool, you can actually crimp different connectors. The one that I've got is called a two millimeter connector. Oops, whoops. The connector I've got is apparently two millimeters and I've got this setting here, 2.0. So this is the one I'm going to try using. I think it doesn't have to be exactly two. If you've got one that's like 1.9 or 2.1, it might probably still work. So I'm no expert at this, but I think that if I just slide this into the hole here and clamp it down, I imagine that if I go fully, I fully clamp these things closed, then it will wind the connector around and close it in place. So the connector is clamped in there. I'm going to plug the wire in through the other side. All right, so the wire is now in there. Let's just clamp it closed. Like so. <gasps> what? Okay, well, I've clamped it, but it's a bit... Well, it doesn't look very good. Ah, you know what? I've just realized I've done this wrong. The way they crimp the ends on this official stick is that the wire gets crimped here, but the actual tubing, like the yellow part or the green part or the red part, that gets crimped here. So where the metal makes contact with metal of the wire is actually here in the middle part. So let's redo them. For this, I'm going to ask for some assistance from my assistant. Assistance from my assistant, Hatsune Miku. There we go. Funny how these are supposed to be like convenient scissors and they ended up being like the best one for the job because they're smaller. All right, I've stripped all the wire ends again so they look a bit like they used to. I've got to put five connectors on and I've only got seven left so I can only mess up twice. And it's actually going to crimp down like that so that the small fangs here in the middle are going to go over the conducting part of the wire. And these large fangs are only going to crimp down on the insulator portion. So the cable's in there, I'm just going to try and crimp this down. Ho ho, and we've actually managed to crimp it over the wire. All right, so the large fangs are in the crimper now. Let's just clamp down on those. And there you have it. Supposedly, it looks like it's not perfectly done, but the Conductor is sort of crimped down there in the middle and the insulator is also crimped down. All right, well, that was the most stressful experience of my life. <laughs> but I managed to, I think, get all five connectors onto these cables and now I'm going to try and plug them into the board and test to see if I can get the correct order because I can't exactly remember what the order was. All right, in the interest of space, you're probably going to want to install it like this. Before you put it in, you're going to want to put this plastic washer on it first just to keep dust out. Laces out. The only reason I'm using two screws is because I can't find the other ones. These are literally just the mounting screws that I stole from the Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2. <laughs> Okay, the stick is in place. Let's put the cable on it. I'm gonna slot this onto the JLF here. Slide that there. Now, just looking at this wiring diagram, it looks like the colors in order from black, green, yellow, orange, red are ground, right, left, up, down. So before we actually plug these wires into the white plastic connector, because getting out of, get, pulling it out was re a real headache, I'm going to plug these in as I think they're supposed to go. So I'm gonna plug the black one into the ground. So I believe that right and left are going to be backwards. So I'm going to take the green and yellow and I'm going to put them in yellow and then green. So yellow and then green. And then I believe up and down are going to be the same. Orange and then red. And now's the big moment. Is this correct? Is this the correct order? We're going to find out. Keep in mind as well that this is because I've installed it with this facing to the left. When you have it facing the other way, up and down are flipped and left and right are the same. But because I've got this facing left, I've actually flipped around the order of left and right and up and down are the same. All right, the moment of truth. Let's plug in the HDMI cable and let's plug in the power. Hopefully nothing explodes. All right, so I've got the main screen up here. Let's just see if the stick is functioning. So left, right is not working right now. Down is working, up is working. 
All right, so basically this means we got the order correct. Let me just plug this in a little bit further. Oh, okay, okay. I actually think that I crimped this green wire not particularly cleanly, but it does still seem to work. Left is left, right is right, down is down, up is up. Woohoo! This is so exciting! I will also be changing these buttons in a future video, but I just wanted to show you how to mod the stick. So, the next thing we need to do is put these cables into the plastic connector. Like, so. oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? The, the connectors are touching each other. So this white plastic connector, the side with the two ridges, that's gonna go on the right side. We're well, looking down at it now. All right, so close and yet <laughs> so far. These cables are not going to fit into this connector. And as you can see, even though I've managed to jam the black one all the way in, the issue is not the size of the metal connector. The metal connector goes in here just fine. The problem is I'm using the harness that come, that you can get for the Sanwa JLF. And because the insulation is too thick, even though it's quite thin here at the tip of the connector, as you can see, the, the metal tangs, they wrap around the insulation and they're supposed to, but the insulation's too thick. And so, as you can see, the tip of the connector is going into the white plastic fine, but when it gets to the insulator part, it's too thick and it won't go in any further. Just as an experiment, I'm trying to see if I can make these connectors a little bit slimmer, so I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing this a little bit thinner, like so. I've managed to squeeze the yellow and the green ones in like so, so I'm gonna try and continue to just make this smaller until it's the size that I need it to be. Oh, I'm managing to get them in. I'm just gonna squeeze this one a little bit slimmer as well. All right, plugging the red one in. All right, through some sort of miracle, I've managed to squeeze the insulated part thin enough that it will fit inside this connector, but this is definitely slightly too thick cable. So ideally, I'd like to make a brand new cable using thinner wires. So let's plug it in and see if it works. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not too hopeful about this. So let's plug it into the PCB. Okay, that has managed to go in, and now it's time to plug it in. I'm not convinced this is gonna work. All right, now the moment of truth. We're gonna try and see if the arcade stick works. Let's go one, two, three, let's go to the right. <gasps> it works! How about to the left? <gasps> it works! And down? Ah! And up? Ah! <laughs> no way! It works! Oh my god! <sighs> that is the biggest... <laughs> I'm literally gonna cry. What you don't know is that all of those metal connectors that I bought, I used every single one. I bought 12 of them, I messed it up five times, and then I made two more mistakes, and even though the wires are too thick, and this they should not have fit into this white plastic connector, it does, it did manage to go in, and it has worked. So, if you don't mind the headache, you can get this JLF cable and you can put these two millimeter connectors onto it, stick the white plastic connector on top of it, and it will fit in, but I don't think it's supposed to. I think you're supposed to get slightly thinner wire. Just make sure you bring the original arcade stick with you to the shops and find a wire that's actually the same thickness as this. All right, I don't have any cable ties, so I'm just gonna use a bit of tape here. All right, let's box it back up. I can't believe I managed to fit it in. All right, putting the base of the stick back on like so. Okay, flip the stick back over. I'm gonna put this original one that comes with it, the white plastic ring here, but you can't use the white plastic sleeve that comes with it because unfortunately it's designed for the other stick. And so as you can see, it's a little bit too short. So I'm gonna use plastic sleeve that actually I have from a previous Sunwa stick. That is the correct height and length there. And just for kicks, I'm going to use a different ball top, seeing as we've gone through all the trouble of putting a different stick on here. I just bought myself another clear plastic ball top. Feels solid, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, oh my God. Let's try it in game. Left, right, left, right, up, down. <laughs> I can't believe it works. So I don't know how long this connector is going to hold out before it breaks. I I think it's probably fairly stable. It's definitely safer than what I had before, when I had it with just the cables jammed into the PCB with like duct tape insulating it. I've got no issues with like accidental inputs, like left is not making right come out and up is not pressing down or anything. Let's see if I can still do that combo. Yes, I can still do it. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this Nihongo Gamer video. That was probably one of the most stressful things I've ever had to do in my whole life. Getting this arcade stick basically <laughs> modded. It shouldn't be that difficult, but of all the shops that I asked when I was in Akihabara in Tokyo, they could not find me a cable that just did what I wanted. I needed it to go from this large connector to a small connector, and no one had the cable. Hopefully in the country where you live, that's much easier to find, but in Tokyo, I could couldn't find, I mean, I didn't really spend that long looking for it, but at the shop that I went to, they didn't seem to have it. So if I were to do it all again, I would find myself five of these thinner wires, with these two millimeter JST connections. Make sure you get that also the little white plastic connector that you need, but make sure you've got a large one as well. So it needs to be the large size on one end and small size on the other end. And then yeah, I would fashion myself a small end connector and a, li a large end connector so that I've got this cable that goes from the Sanwa into the SNK Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro board. Just comparatively speaking, if you've ever done a mod like the Quanba drone, then you'll know that actually this cable, just as you buy it, this is all you need. This is the large end on both sides, JLF on one side and your Quanba drone on the other side. So that's a significantly easier mod. But for this one, you will need to make yourself a connector as I've shown in this video. I hope that was reference enough for you if you're interested in doing this mod. Just make sure you have the right connector. If you don't have the right connector, just make sure you know how to make one. This is not really a tutorial on how to crimp these connectors, by the way. This is pretty much the first or second time I've ever tried it. Well, this is the second time I've ever tried it and the first time I've actually succeeded. So that's all for now. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that great stuff. And if you're interested in the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, I have plenty of, the other, plenty of other videos unboxing it, testing it and playing some KOF with it. Planning on probably doing some more videos with it as well because I really want to play God O Mark of the Wolves on here as well. This is just the Sunwood JLF. As you saw, it's easy to install it, but the cable, if you don't have the cable, then you just make sure that you know how to crimp your own wires and make sure that you've got the right objects, but I'll put pictures and details in the description so you know exactly which ones you need to go and buy. Probably in a future video, what I'd also like to do is change out these buttons because I'm pretty sure they're the same size as a standard Sunwa 30 millimeter button. So that means we can hopefully just put drop and drop, you know, plug and play standard Sunwa with 30 millimeter buttons or gamer finger buttons or whatever it is we want to put into them. If you want to talk more about arcade sticks, you can join us on Discord. There should be a link on my Twitter somewhere to the Discord. There's rooms where we can talk about gear, we can talk about fighting games, talk about other games that are not fighting games, you can talk about Japan, coffee, all that stuff. See you next time. Wow, that was so stressful.